briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 1989 case of Romero v. Mervins, the courtroom drama centered on whether punitive damages should be awarded for a breach of contract. Lucy Romero sued the department store Mervins after an incident in which she was injured. Romero claimed that store manager Dennis Wolf promised Mervins would cover her medical expenses, though Wolf denied this. A verdict was ultimately reached in favor of Romero, including compensatory and punitive damages. At issue was whether Wolf, the store manager, had the authority to make such a promise to Romero, and whether punitive damages, an extra sum of money awarded to punish the defendant, were warranted in the case. The Supreme Court of New Mexico affirmed the trial court's judgment in favor of Romero, rejecting Mervyn's arguments against the ruling. In determining whether punitive damages were justified, courts typically consider whether the breach of contract was malicious or extremely negligent. In this case, the court found substantial evidence supporting the decision to award punitive damages, deeming Mervyn's actions to be sufficiently malicious. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.